Welcome to the second video in the GigaNews Usenet University tutorial series. Our first video introduced you to the world of Usenet newsgroups and the services that GigaNews offers. In our second video, we'll take a look at actually getting connected to Usenet newsgroups. To access Usenet through GigaNews, you'll need to install specialized software called a news client. News clients work in a similar way to email clients. You'll be able to sort and search the articles in each news group by subject line, author, or other identifying information. And when you find an article you want to read or download, you can select the article in your news client and the content is automatically downloaded for viewing. Just like most software, news clients come in two varieties. Those that are completely free and those that need to be paid for, either initially or after a trial period. Windows users can choose from a large number of free and for pay news clients. One suitable free client that is available to almost every Windows user is Microsoft Outlook Express. Another popular free news client is Mozilla's Thunderbird. While neither free news client is particularly feature rich, either client would be a good place to start if you're just learning how to navigate the world of Usenet. Paid news clients tend to offer more features and search functionality, and there are a whole host of paid news clients available for Windows. Two of the most popular news clients include Newsbin and News Leecher. For these video guides, we'll be using Microsoft Outlook Express and Newsbin Pro as examples. If you're using another news client, you may still want to view these tutorials as configuration instructions are surprisingly similar amongst different news clients. The first example is Microsoft Outlook Express. If you'd like instructions on configuring Newsbin Pro, please fast forward the video to the minute currently displayed on your screen. To connect your news client to Usenet, you must supply it with some basic information about your Usenet service and internet connection. We'll examine this process in Microsoft Outlook Express first. From the main window of Microsoft Outlook Express, open the Tools menu and select Accounts. A window titled Internet Accounts should appear. Select Add and then Use, which will open an Internet Connection Wizard window. The first section will ask for your display name, which users will see when you post articles. Most users choose an alias, but you can use your real name if you like. Hit Next when done. The next section requests your email address. This will allow users that read your post to reply to you privately by email. It's not advisable to put your actual email address here because spammers can and will begin sending you automated messages. If you want to make your email address known to others but want to protect it from spam, enter it like so. Human readers will know to remove a portion of the displayed address. After entering your email address, hit Next. The next screen will ask for your news NNTP server. Enter news.giganews.com. Check the box for My News Server requires me to log on and hit Next. The next section requests your account name and password. Enter your GigaNews login and password exactly as they appear in your startup kit. Your startup kit is the email GigaNews sent you when you first signed up for your GigaNews account. If you never received your startup kit, please email support at giganews.com to have it resent. For your convenience, leave the Remember Password box checked. Leave Log On Using Secure Password Authentication SPA unchecked and hit Next. Hit the Finish button at the final screen. Now, the following steps are only required if you need to enable SSL encryption through Microsoft's Outlook Express. In the Internet Accounts window, you'll see a new entry for news.giganews.com. Click on that entry to highlight it and select the Properties button on the right side of the window. Click on the Advanced tab and check the box next to This server requires a secure connection SSL. The port listed above this checkbox should change from 119 to 563. Click OK to save this change. Port 443 is also available and may provide faster speeds for customers with artificial bandwidth limitations imposed by networks between GigaNews and their computer. Microsoft Outlook Express is now configured to access GigaNews. Now let's walk through configuring Newsbin Pro to access GigaNews' Usenet service. Okay. 
Open the Utilities menu and select Servers. A new window titled Server Options will open. In this window, click the New Server button. In the Add New Server window, enter a title for the server in the Server field. GigaNews will be fine for now. Click OK. Back in the Server Options menu, a few more fields have now activated. Start with the Server Address field and enter news.giganews.com. Next is the Connections field. Enter the maximum number of connections your account type allows. Users with silver, gold and platinum accounts may use up to 10 connections. Users with diamond accounts or who have purchased SSL encryption may use up to 20 connections. Check the Requires Login box below. In this section, enter your GigaNews login and password exactly as they appear in your startup kit. Next are a few advanced options that may need to be adjusted. For the TCP port, the default settings of 119 should suffice. But you may also use ports 80 and or 23. If you have a diamond account or have added SSL encryption to your Usenet account, check the box for Use SSL. If you enable this setting, also check the box for Set SSL Port, and the default SSL port of 563 is acceptable. Port 443 is also available for SSL encrypted connections. Please note that disabling and enabling SSL connectivity requires Newsbin Pro to be closed and restarted. After entering your settings, click OK and your preferences will be saved. And that's all it takes to configure Newsbin Pro for Giga News. Now that you've learned how to configure your news clients to access news groups, check out our next video, Searching the List of News Groups, to find news groups that you may be interested in.